Kachela. I will be speaking both in Swahili and English, but probably most of the sermon will be in Swahili. Let us stand up and uh, if you are able to and uh, start our service. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, get us as in worship, gathered by the Holy Spirit at a time of death, we proclaim Jesus Christ to the resurrection and the life. We begin in the name of the Trine, God, and join in the prayer. Let's sing song, bless the assurance. You have it in me. You are. is mine, oh, what a fortress of glory divine, day of salvation, righteous of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior. All the day long. Perfect salvation, perfect delight, visions of rapture, now was my soul. Echoes of mercy with spots of long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect salvation, all is at rest. I in my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, loving our filled with his goodness. Lost in his love. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This 
in my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Welcome in the name of Jesus, the Savior of the world. We are gathered to worship, to proclaim Christ crucified and risen, to remember before God our sister Muel and Tuli Marcella, to give thanks her life, amend her to our merciful Redeemer, and to comfort one another in our grief. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like this, like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like this. Eternal God, maker of heaven and earth, we formed us, who formed us from the dust of the earth, who by your breath gave us life. We glorify you, we glorify you. Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, who suffered death for all humanity, who rose from the grave to open the way to eternal life. We praise you. We praise you, Holy Spirit, author and giver of life, the comforter of all who sorrow, our sure confidence and the everlasting hope. We worship you, we worship you, to you, oh bless the Trinity, be glory and honor forever and ever, amen. It's seated. Oh, yeah. 
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our sister Mwele Marechela. We thank you for giving her to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and hope until the, by your call, we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all your saints through Jesus Christ, our Savior and the Lord. Amen. I will call the first reading uh, from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 3. We can read in English. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Somo wa kwanza, kutoka kitabu cha Isaya, stina tisa mstari wa kwanza mbaka watatu. Roho ya Bwana Mungu ii juu yangu kwa sababu Bwana amenitia mafuta ni wahubiri wa nyenyekevu habari njema. Amenituma ili kwa ganga waliovunjika moyo kuwatangazia mateka uhuru wao na hao waliofungwa habari za kufunguliwa kwao. Kutangaza mwaka wa Bwana uliokubaliwa na siku ya kisasi cha Mungu wetu. Wafariji wote waliao. Kwa kuagizia hao wali yao katika sayuni wapewe taji na maua badala ya majivu mafuta ya mafuta, mafuta ya furaha badala ya maombolezo vazi la sifa badala ya roho nzito wapewe kuitwa miti ya haki iliyopangwa na Bwana ili atukuzwe hili ndilo neno la Mungu Mm-hmm. 
peace that my heart to praise I feel That grace, grace appears, the hour I first believe, when then the ten thousand years bright shining as the Mele Musumbi Malichela was born on the 26th of March 1963. She was the first born child of His Excellency John and the late Ezarina Malichela. She attended primary school in Arusha, at Arusha School, and then Oyster Bay Primary School. She did her O level training at Zanaki and Werewolf Girls Secondary School and A level at Kilakala Girls Secondary School. She went to national service at Rupu and Ungulani for a year. In 1983, she joined the University of Dar es Salaam, where she was awarded a Bachelor of Science in Zoology. She completed her first degree in 1986. Her first appointment was with the National Institute for Medical Research 
in Amali, Tanga. In 1989, she joined the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, where she received a Master's of Science in Medical Parasitology. She, was, she continued her studies uh, at the same institution, and in 1995 was awarded a PhD in Medical Parasitology with focus in filarial <coughs> immunology. Dr. Mwane Kuntuli Malicella returned home to Tanzania and continued her career at the National Institute of Medical Research. In 19, uh, from 1996 to 1998, she served as the head of department, Health Systems Research. 98 to 2010, she served as the director of research coordination and promotion. In 2000, she was appointed as the founding director of the Tanzania National Lymphatic Filariasis Elimination Program. She was then appointed by His Excellency, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Jakaya Mrisho Kipete, as the Director General of the National Institute for Medical Research, a position she held from 2010 to 2016. She was a loyal employee of the National Institute for Medical Research for 30 years. After this appointment, she worked at COSTEC until 2017 when she joined the World Health Organization as the director in the office of the regional director in Congo, Brazzaville. In 2018, she was appointed by Dr. Tedros, the director general of the World Health Organization, as the director of the Department of Control of Neglected Tropical Diseases in the WHO headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The world, the world Health Organization, and indeed the world, will remember Dr. Moye Ntuli Malicella for her contribution in the development of the WHO Roadmap to Eliminate Neglected Tropical Diseases by 2030, which was launched in January of 2021. This led to the recognition by the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine that awarded her an honorary Doctor of Science. We at home affectionately called her Professor Dr. Dr. Maya Malicella. Internationally, Dr. Maya Malicella held various posts, including, but not limited to, the Vice President of the International Associations of National Public Health Institutes, Chairperson of the Representative Group of Global Alliance to Eliminate Lymphatic uh, Filariasis, the Medicine Ex Expert Committee, the Trachoma Expert Committee, the advisory board of the Initiative on Public Private Partnership in Health, IPPPH. She was the principal investigator for PEPFAR to support the transformation of the global HIV AIDS epidemic control. Dr. Mwele Ntuli Malicella was a member of several associations and institutions, both nationally and internationally. She was a fellow of the Tanzania Institute of Directors, fellow of the Tanzania Academy of Science. She was a board member of the Dodoma Christian Medical Center, public health professor at Morehouse College in the United States. She was a member of the International Advisory Board of Grand Challenges in Canada, British Society for Parasitology in the United Kingdom, the Royal Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene in the United Kingdom, the American Society of Tropical Medicine in the United States, American Association for Advancement of Science in the United States. Dr. Mwale Malicella mentored young scientists, especially women, with the aim of increasing the number of female scientists in Tanzania and around the world. We have Dr. Upendo Mungira here with us today, who is one of her mentees, and she took care of her, took her under her wing, and um, she's here to testify today. Due to her good relationship with Emory University and Morehouse College in the United States, she was able to initiate an exchange program that allowed scientists from Tanzania to go to the United States and vice versa for extra training. Dr. Mwede Ntuli Manichella has published articles and research in various scientific journals, both nationally and internationally. And I would ask at the, uh, during the uh, cocktail hour, we have a lot of the journals that have uh, uh, written uh, obituaries um, uh, about uh, Dr. Mwele Malicella, and we have displayed them at the back there. 
She also received various awards nationally and internationally, recognizing her contribution to science, health, and social development. And recently at the Kigali Summit for Neglected Tropical Diseases, um, we shall hear also from uh, uh, Melinda French Gates and uh, Dr. Tedros, who spoke at, at, this, at this summit. Dr. Mwale Nchuli Malichela had empathy for the less fortunate. She raised, nurtured, and educated a number of children who she affectionately, affectionately called the Mindu family. And we have a few of the Mindu family here. Mange is here with us today. She was uh, raised uh, um, by Dr. Mwale. And she believed that if you, educated, if you educate the girl child, you will educate the community. She was the patron of various NGOs dedicated to social welfare and community development. She was appointed the mother to her siblings after the passing of our mother in 1995 in accordance with our Chigogo tradition. She also played an active role on both sides of her family, both from the paternal and maternal side. Above all, Mwele Ntuli Malichela loved God. She was a spiritual person who believed in giving. She lived her life following the crucial tenets of Christianity, which is love. And this is why she was able to achieve what she achieved because she loved. She was a member of St. Albans Anglican Church in Tanzania. Mwale Malichela lived in Geneva, Switzerland until she was called home to be with the Lord on the 10th of February, 2022. Grief never ends, but it changes. It is a passage, not a place to stay. Grief is not a sign of weakness, nor a lack of faith. It is the price of love. Rest well, Didi, until we meet again in glory. Amen.
soma kutoka ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya ishirini na moja mstari wa pili hadi mstari wa saba neno la Mungu linasema nami nikauona mji ule mtakatifu Yerusalemu mpya ukishuka kutoka mbinguni kwa Mungu umewekwa tayari kama bibi harusi aliyekwisha kupambwa kwa mumewe nikasikia sauti kubwa kutoka katika kile kiti cha enzi ikisema tazama maskani ya Mungu ni pamoja na wanadamu naye atafanya maskani yake pamoja nao nao watakuwa watu wake naye Mungu mwenyewe atakuwa pamoja nao naye atafuta kila chozi katika macho yao wala mauti haitakuwapo tena wala maombolezo wala kilio wala maumivu hayatakuwepo tena kwa kuwa mambo ya kwanza yamekwisha kupita na yeye aketie juu ya kile kiti cha enzi akisema tazama na yafanya yote kuwa mapya akaniambia andika ya kwamba maneno hayo ni amini na kweli akaniambia imekwisha kuwa mimi ni alfa na omega mwanzo na mwisho mimi nitampa yeye mwenye kiu ya chemchemi ya maji ya uzima bure naye ashindaye atayarithi haya nami nitakuwa Mungu wake naye atakuwa mwanangu ningeweza kusoma Kiingereza kidogo lakini nasoma mstari moja tu au miwili mstari wa tatu na mstari wa ini kwa Kiingereza Revelation 21 verse 3 and 4 and i heard a loud voice from the throne saying look god's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them they will be his people and god himself will be with them and be their god he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away amen ndugu zangu najua wako wengi hawafahamu kiswahili lakini 
kama uko karibu basi utawanongoneza nini tunazungumza Mungu ndiye muumba wetu na ni muumba wa ulimwengu alikujua kabla ya wewe hujazaliwa katika kitabu cha nabii Yeremia ukisoma ile sura ya kwanza mstari wa tano, inasema nilikujua kabla hujazaliwa na bado katika ujinga wetu sisi wanadamu tunafikiri tunaweza kumficha Mungu lakini anajua kila wazo anajua kila hisia anajua kila uchungu tunaoupitia na mahangaiko ambayo tunaweza kuwa tunahisi sikumfahamu mwele tuli marechera lakini nimefahamu familia ya marechera muda mrefu sana nikiwa kijana mdogo nimeanza tu secondary school mwaka ule wa kwanza nafikiri kwa mwaka 63 au 64 mzee marechera john marechera alikuwa mkuu wa mkoa wa mwanza na alikuja kututembelea katika shule yetu na mara nyingi lakini vile vile nilipokuwa tayari nimeanza kazi uh, nikahamishiwa Dodoma nilifanya kazi Mirembe Hospital na niliweza kufahamiana sana na marehemu mzee Job Rusinde alikuwa jirani yangu na tulikuwa tunatembeleana sana na in fact mke wangu akawa rafiki na shangazi ya kina nafikiri ni shangazi yenu uh, tulikuwa karibu sana nao pamoja na utani wetu wa wasukuma na wagogo lakini uh, uhusiano uliokuwapo ulikuwa mzuri sana ambao ulitujenga sana niliposikia habari ya kuitwa kwa mwere ntuli marechera binti yangu Dorothy Mbata yuko Doris Mbata yuko pale ah, sasa hivi anaitwa Mrs. Wambali yuko pale uh, Dar es Salaam akanipigia ah, simu akasema baba ah, yule bosi wangu aliyeniajiri ameitwa na bwana huko Ulaya nilipopata habari hizo nilimtafuta sana Dr. Seche kwa njia ya simu hakupatikana lakini baadaye alikuja akanijibu kwa njia ya text message na nikafurahi kusikia kwamba amepata ujumbe wangu na I was very concerned na yeye vile vile kwa sababu walikuwa wanapendana sana na dada yake Dr. Mwele alikuwa ni mtu mwaminifu sana Narudia Dr. Mwele alikuwa mtu mwaminifu sana Umesikiliza kwa undani na kwa ukaribu zaidi wasifu wake Hakuna wasifu niliyowahi kusikia mzuri kama wa Dr. Mwele Hivyo tunawiwa deni sisi tunaoishi leo tutengeneze wasifu wetu tukingali hai kama alivyotengeneza mama huyu Dr. Mwele Maleshera Usingoje umekufa alafu wanaanza kusema ah aliugua ghafla tukampeleka mwana nyamara atoka pale tukampeleka Muroganzira basi uh, ikawa sio riziki na, na ma, hasemi kama amekufa ikawa sio riziki mwisho wa wasifu huo sio wasifu tengeneza wasifu wako ukiwa ungali hai huyu mama alitengeneza wasifu wake vizuri sana na alikuwa mtu mwaminifu sana na hata tunapotoka na machozi hata mimi yanatoka machozi tunatoka machozi kwa sababu tulimpenda hata kama wengine hatukumuona lakini kazi alizozifanya kwa nchi ya Tanzania na ulimwengu kwa ujumla ilikuwa ni kazi nzuri sana ambayo ni watu wachache wanaoweza kuifanya na alijitahidi sana kuingia katika 
kufanya utafiti katika mambo ambayo watu wengi hawakuwa wanayafanya kwa sababu waliona pengine hayana maana sana labda hayakuwa na faida sana vitu vidogo vidogo ambavyo wengi waliviona ni vidogo vidogo yeye ndiye aliingia huko na akafanya mambo hayo ya utafiti na alijijengea wasifu wake hapa duniani Mtume Yohana alieleza maono yake ya mbingu mpya na dunia mpya katika hii Yohana ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya shina moja na mstari wa ine, wa tatu, wa ine na watano. Ni jambo ambayo linapaswa kutia hamasa kwa kila mmoja wetu na kubaki waumini kwake Mungu siku zote. Mimi siku zote huwa nawaeleza ndugu zangu wa Tanzania na wasio wa Tanzania kama wewe una imani katika dini yako uwe mkristo uwe muislam uwe mu orthodox uwe mu hindu ili mradi unamtafuta Mungu ishikilie ishikilie hiyo imani yako kwa sababu siku ya mwisho shehe au maalimu atakapokuja kwenye hitima yako tuta, watakuombea dua kwa mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu ili moyo wako na roho yako iweze kukaa mahala pema peponi bila kujali majaribu na mateso mengi tunayokumbana nayo katika ulimwengu huu kila kitu kinapita kuna mbingu mpya na nchi mpya wa Kristo tunaamini hivyo mbingu mpya iko tumeandaliwa huko juu mbinguni ukisoma katika injili ya Yohana mtakatifu sura ile ya 14 utakuta mstari unaosema yeye amekwenda kutuandalia makao na baada ya kutuandalia makao atarudi tena kuja kutuchukua twende tukaishi pamoja naye ndugu zangu katika jambo lolote tunalokabiliana nalo maisha yetu zipo kweli kuu mbili zisizobadilika ambazo tunaweza kuwa na uhakika nazo kwanza Mungu ni upendo na anakupenda wewe binafsi anakupenda wewe binafsi juzi nilikuwa nawaza sana akasema ah kuna binti mmoja ali 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 alipata shida huko Alabama uh, polisi aka, akawa amemprofile kama ni, ni mweusi kwa hiyo hawezi ha, hakuwa na haki yoyote ya kuishi katika mazingira alimokuwa anaishi lakini mimi nikafikiri nika nikasema kama biblia ninayoisoma mimi Maandiko matakatifu tunayoyasoma yanasema Mungu alimuumba mtu kwa mfano wake. Bas, chukua hilo. Kwa Mungu amekuumba kwa mfano wake. Na hakuna tofauti. Unaweza kawa mweupe, unaweza kawa wanjano, unaweza kawa mweusi, lakini huo ndio mfano wa Mungu kwa sababu hatujui Mungu ana sura gani, hatujui Mungu ana rangi gani sisi wote ni wana wa Mungu. Mungu ni upendo na anakupenda wewe binafsi. Na pili, hatimaye Mungu atasahihisha maovu yote na kuyaponya. Majeraha ambayo ulimwengu huu umetupatia. Wakati Yesu alipoteseka na kufa pale msalabani alithibitisha kuwa Mungu anaipenda zaidi jamii ya binadamu iliyoanguka na inayoteseka kuliko maisha yote na alihakikisha kuwa wote wanaoweka imani katika yeye watakuwa na mstakabali wenye utukufu usiokuwa na mateso kabisa ahadi ya biblia ambayo inathibitishwa na kifo cha Kristo pale msalabani ni kwa ajili yako. Ndio sababu Yohana akiwa katika kisiwa cha Potimo 
aliandika maneno haya naye atafuta kila chozi katika macho yao wala mauti haitakuwapo tena wala maombolezo wala kilio wala maumivu hayatakuwepo tena kwa kuwa mambo ya kwanza yamepita haya ni maneno ya faraja dr seche na familia haya ni maneno ya faraja bwana humfariji wakati mmoja watoto wake ana huzuni tunaweza tusione lakini tunaweza kuhisi mioyoni mwetu huzuni ni moja wapo ya hisia kali sana ambazo wanadamu wanaweza kuhisi lakini tunapaswa kukumbuka kila wakati kwamba Kristo ni Mungu wa furaha na ni Mungu wa amani Mwisho Mtume Yohana anasema nikasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema ukisoma katika kitabu kile cha ufunuo wa Yohana sura ile ya kumi na na ine na mstari wa kumi na tatu unasema nikasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema heri wafu wafao katika bwana tangu sasa naam asema bwana wapate kupumzika baada ya tabu zao kwa sababu matendo yao kufuatana nao matendo ya mwele malechara yatafuatana na yeye huko aliko leo na hivyo basi tuamini kwamba malechara mtuli yuko katika ikono ya baba yuko katika ubavu wa baba kama alivyochukuliwa yule Ibrahim na, na mfanyakazi yule ambaye alikuwa maskini sana akabebwa akapelekwa akawekwa kwenye kifua cha Ibrahim lakini yule tajiri akaanza alipoona shida hapa akamwambia Ibrahim na kuomba umtume aje hapa aweze kuwaeleza habari kusudi wa ndugu zangu wasije wakapata shida Ibrahim alisema kwamba kama hukuweza kuwasikia manabii na, 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 na wachungaji na waingilisti na maana na, na mashehe na maalimu walioko kule duniani basi hata kama mtu atakuja kutoka huko mbinguni hataweza kumsaidia hivyo uh, Yohana anakitimisha neno hili katika hii Yohana ufunuo sura 14 mstari wa 13 kwamba nikasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni kisema heri wafu wafao katika bwana tangu sasa na asema bwana wapate kupumzika baada ya tabu zao kwa kuwa matendo yao yanafuatana nao bwana awabariki sana tuangalie kwenye sehemu inayofuata the apostles creed na tutaomba nitaomba tusimame na wote tutasema I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth I believe in Jesus Christ God's only son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven he is seated at the right hand of the father and he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen Mercy for God you heal the broken in heart and bind up the wound the wounds of the afflicted strengthen us in our weakness calm our troubled spirits dispel our doubts and the fears in Christ is rising from the dead 
you conquered death and opened the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you that by the power of your love, we shall one day be brought together again with Mwere and Tuli, Malechala. Grant this, we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us all together uh, say the uh, Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we go give those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Blessing. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of eternal covenant, make you complete everything good so that you may be God's will, working in you that which is well pleasing in God's sight through Jesus Christ to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Na bana kubariki na kukulinda, bana kuinulie nuru ya uso wake na ukufadhiri, na bana akuinulie uso wake na ukupamani katika jina la baba, na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen kai wot if tomorrow starts without me and i'm not there to see if the sun should rise and find your eyes wow. if this if tomorrow starts without me and i'm not there to see if the sun should rise and find your eyes all filled with tears for me. I wish so much you wouldn't cry the way you did today while thinking of the many things we didn't get to say. I know how much you care for me and how much I care for you. And each time that you think of me, I, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand and said my place and called my name and took me by the hand and said my place was ready in heaven far above and I'd have to leave behind all those I dearly love. But as I turned to walk away, a tear fell from my eye for all life. I'd always thought I didn't want to die. I had so much to live for and so much yet to do. It seemed almost impossible that I was leaving you. I thought of all the love we share and all the fun we had. If I could relive yesterday, I thought just for a while, I'd say goodbye and hug you and maybe see you smile. But then I fully realized this could never be, for emptiness and memories would take the place of me. And when I thought of worldly things I'd miss come tomorrow, I thought of you, and when I did, my heart was filled with sorrow. But when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home when God looked down on me and smiled at me from his great golden throne. He said, this is eternity, and all I've promised you, today our life on earth has passed, but here it starts anew. I promise no tomorrow, but today will always last. Since each day is the same, there's no longing for the past. But you have been so faithful, so trusting, so true, though there were times you did some things you knew you shouldn't do. And you have been forgiven, and now at last you're free, so won't you come and take my hand and share my life with me? So if tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, please know I'm in your heart. Good evening, everyone. Okay, so we're going to start with the Swahili hymn, Ineza Habari Humuduniani. And we, we will all sing 
um, and this is for the offerings, please.
offerings right now. You come far again, Namshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya neno la leo. Mungu akubariki sana mtumishi wa Mungu kwa neno hili la siku ya leo. Mimi nimepewa nafasi ya kuombea sadaka ambayo imekusanywa siku ya leo. Karibu. Basi wote kwa heshima tusimame tuombee sadaka yetu Baba wa uzima katika jina la Yesu tunaliadhimisha na kulinua jina lako Bwana jioni ya leo katikati ya familia hii mfalme tazama tunasogea mbele za uso wako hatuna kitu cha kukurudishia ila kukushukuru Bwana kwa ajili ya maisha mema ambayo ulimpa mama yetu dada yetu mpendwa wetu katika maisha yake hapa duniani tazama Mungu ulimfanya chombo chenye thamani katika jamii zaidi sana akaacha kumbukumbu mahali hapa mfalme hatuna jambo la kusema mbele za uso wako jioni ya leo bali kukushukuru na kusema asante mfalme unastahili kwa wema wako rehema na upendo katika maisha ya mpendwa wetu na sasa Mungu wetu na baba yetu Tazama katika ibada hii tuliyokutolea mfalme ya kukushukuru kwa ajili ya maisha yake tumekutolea sadaka baba yetu wa mbinguni. Tunakuomba uipokee mikononi mwako, uitakase na kuiponya, ukaitume katende kazi yako. Tena zaidi sana ikaweke kumbukumbu ya jina lake kila mahali, sawa sawa na mapenzi yako jinsi ulivyomwita tangu kuzaliwa kwake. Tunaiacha mikononi mwako. Zaidi sana tukiombea familia hii uendelee kuishika kwa mkono wako watie nguvu wasione kwamba wamepungukiwa wasione kwamba wameachwa bali wewe ni bwana wa wayatima ukawatie nguvu tena wakasonge mbele tena zaidi sana wakafanye yale ambao mpendwa wao aliwaachia kama muongozo hapa duniani tunalinwa na kulitukuza jina lako hata tunapoondoka mahali hapa mfalme nenda na kila mmoja wa familia hii na yote aliyohudhuria mahali hapa mkono wako wenye nguvu uwe pamoja nasi tunakushukuru tunakuinua tunakutukuza tunakupa heshima kwa sababu unastahili Mungu wetu ni katika jina lipitalo majina yote ndilo jina la mwanao mpendwa Yesu Kristo ambaye ni bwana na ni mwokozi wa maisha yetu tunaomba na tunakushukuru watu wa Mungu na tuseme amen Please remain seated My name is Onesmo Mpanju. I have the honor of being your host this evening, uh, MC, in other words, um, on behalf of Dr. Seth Marachel and Marachel family. I have a few introductory remarks uh, before we jump into our program. Uh, first and foremost, on behalf of everyone, uh, let me thank Dr. Seth Marachel and the Marachel family for inviting us all uh, to join them in commemorating and celebrating the life of our dear friend, uh, Dr. Moe Maricela, someone who was beloved by, you know, all of us. It still feels unreal to me, anyways, to talk of Moele in, in the past tense. Uh, but even as we revisit that pain uh, that we felt the moment we heard about Moele's passing, tonight, let's also remember the happy times that we shared with her and the joy that she brought into our lives. 
Secondly, on behalf of Seche, um, she didn't ask me to say this. <laughs> um, I would like to thank all of you uh, for taking the time out of your busy schedules uh, to be here. Some of you I know have traveled over the oceans and long, long distances to be here. Uh, and I know that's because of your love for Moel and, of course, the Moetia family. So as the saying goes, uh, the journey of grief is long, and those who walk it should not have to walk it alone. Now, throughout the evening, I will update you on, on the program as it unfolds. But first, I have a housekeeping announcement, and that has to do with how to access the restrooms or the bathrooms. Uh, to find the men's and, gen and uh, the, the gents and, and the ladies' rooms, you have to walk through the ballroom just right behind us through that door on the left and past the elevators on your right to the end of the corridor, you make a right. That's where you, on, and then on, and the, 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 the restrooms will be on your left hand side. If you notice anything missing, please let us know so that we can address that. Now on to our first activity, which is the symbolic release of balloons into the sky to signify our love, thoughts, memories, and prayers for Mwele. In a minute, I will ask everyone to congregate in the space to my right-hand side. Is that empty space there? That's where we shall congregate to release the balloons. So we, I'm going to ask all of us to stand up and walk orderly first of all you need to pick a balloon yeah some of them are already going off pop, popping off uh so pick up a balloon and then head to that uh, corner space and we will be led uh in our procession to releasing the balloon by bagpipe music by our friend mark who is standing behind us so with that and i should mention also that uh before we release the balloons uh, we will ask Santa Chacha to say a few words, uh, and then we'll count down to the release. So, Mark, take it away. session. Thank you.
My name is Santa, and I'm privileged to lead you in a very small task. As mentioned by my brother Esmo, this signifies it signifies our memory, thoughts, and prayers to our beloved sister. But before I, before I, before I do this, I can't do this alone. I would like to call upon my niece and nephews to come and join me, uh, my gang. Uh, J2, Mange, Krista, Ezrina, Noela, Agapeo. Santa. That's it. Sorry. So they're all going to write special messages uh, to our beloved sister, mother, grandmother, aunt, friend, scientist. And once you are done, we'll all release the balloon on a countdown.
And by the way, uh, the Palooza uh, environmental friendly, I can see my sister Joyce here. So we've got to make sure that everything is in order. We're going to give Gapel one more minute. Forever in our heart, you will stay. We will love you and remember you every single day. In a countdown of one, two, three, we love you, Dada Mwele. Okay. I guess this bunch of balloons are new to say without Sophia. Yeah. Thank you again. We truly appreciate them participating on this important exercise. Thanks, everyone. So now, as uh, Sister mentioned earlier, uh, there are all kinds of posters spread around uh, this open space, and also cocktails will be served. So we will, we invite you to mingle and walk around and meet old friends. There are some people I haven't seen in 30 years, Dr. Laisha, <laughs> Fee. Uh, so please, now you can bingo, and then I will let you know when we are ready for the next step. Thank you. Uh, may I have your attention, please? Uh, the. The organizers are asking that we pick up our purses from the chairs because they need to bring the chairs back inside. So please uh, get hold of your purse. Sustaining me. I have been just quick. I have been just quick. I have been just quick. I all right, um, space. Uh, able to ambie, uh, unamfam VP, uh, dada to Dr. Mwele. Mwele, mimi ni namfahamu tangu tumekuwa watoto wadogo kabisa sisi tulikuwa tunasoma na seche mm -hmm. na dada Mwele alikuwa ni mkubwa. Mm -hmm. Halafu pia Mwele na kina kanao jirani kule region state wao well, walikuwa na kule na dhani chatu baba yao you are the new Aziris, you are Kilimo Katiule, Lakini Sete Sisi to Mapua Night, to Mesuma Night and Costa Bay Primary, to Mecheza Water, to Mekua, to Naputana, 
tunaongea mpaka sasa karibu sitaki kusema miaka mingi lakini sema 40 oh. tu ndio ndio huyu ni space oza chagula oza chagula ndio uh, dada yangu uh, ni ni hebu niambie kwa neno lako la mwisho una unapeleka salamu gani sasa kwa mzee John Marichela na familia kwa kweli sisi tumeumizwa sana na huu msiba baba tunakupa pole nyingi sana tunaomba Mungu awape faraja awatie nguvu <laughs> na wote hii ni safari yetu mzetu ametangulia sisi tuko nyuma yake lakini tunamtumaini Mungu na kwa kweli Mungu atakufariji sana tuko pamoja Asante sana dada Space Oza Nashukuru sana Asante, Asante sana Asante uh, tuko tuko live hapa uh, Springfield uh, Maryland na tume tumemaliza kuongea na dada Space Oza Chagula uh, ambaye alikuwa aki aki uh, sasa tunaongea na moja kati ya watu teme maarufu sana <laughs> karibu bwana hebu tuambie um, unamzungumzia vipi dada yetu dr mwele dr mwele uh, alikuwa ni family friend wa karibu sana ndio ndio mimi ni one of very very good friends wa mdogo wake marem ipi mm-hmm. kwa hiyo mwele alikuwa dada yangu tangu mm-hmm. niko primary school Since, Yeah, na najua hiyo ni miaka ya nyuma ya 80 umemgusia kipi na alikuwa ni mmoja sana vile wa watu na alitangulia mapema sana. Sasa hebu unampelekea salamu sasa mzee Joni Marechela pamoja na familia yote ya mzee Marechela. Kwanza nawapa pole sana kwa msiba. Mungu alinibariki niliweza kwenda kusafiri mm-hmm. na kwenda kumzika. Mm-hmm. Kwa mwele alikuwa mwana science nzuri. Mm-hmm alikuwa ni mama mzuri ndio ndio alikuwa ni uh, mtu ambaye alijenga uh, wanasayansi wenzie alijenga majirani alijenga watoto sio nakuwa na uwezo alijenga wanataaluma wenzake kwenye uh, kwenye kokote alikopitia lakini tuna tunamkumbuka tutaendelea kumkumbuka tunampenda na ni pengo kubwa sana kwa nchi ya Tanzania mm-hmm. kwa familia ya Marechela na kwa nani ya Jumu. Asante sana kwa kuongea nasi. Nashukuru sana. Asante sana. Ah uh, Abu Shatiri naye yupo katika kamera hapa na tunaendelea tu ku kama mnavyoona picha inavyoonyesha ni kwamba watu waliohudhuria katika sherehe hii ni wengi sana katika siku ya leo. Kwa hiyo bado sherehe inaendelea sasa upande wa pili misa ndio imekwisha. Kahimi sasa hivi na online TV pamoja na Mike News tumemaliza kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana kwa ambao wametuangalia naomba subscribe share and like channel so, online TV pamoja na American Swahili News tunatakia siku njema Silver Spring Melon we are in DC Asante sana